Okay, so I guess we got everybody here, and we got a bunch of people joining now. So, um, welcome everyone to our AMA. Um, just to reiterate, we're gonna be doing these bi-weekly now. So the next AMA will be in two weeks, and next week you guys can expect another project call like last week, and we'll do those alternating every alternating week. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let Rain start off this week's project call and let him dive into some of the community center updates. Um, he's Rain here is in charge of support and has now been really helping organize a lot of the Discord, and um, I'll let him kind of take over, but he's kind of built a community center for everyone to be able to access, and he wants to talk to everyone about that. So take it away, brother. Thanks, Mark. I greatly appreciate it. So one thing we noticed, the community was consistently asking about better ways for us to communicate, um, general updates, things that are happening behind the scenes. So earlier, probably about a week or so now, uh, we released the Community Center, which is an all-in-one place that anybody can go. Um, it's public. There's a URL. I'll drop it here in the chat. I'll put it in general and I'll put it in pre-AMA. And so literally anything that you guys can think of that's going to be useful for us to exp like get our messages across to you or any sort of development changes, feel free to tell us something to add to this community center that you'd like to see. Um, I think an important thing for it will be the sprint tracker. I still got to do a little bit of coordinating with the developers to make sure we get the right information there. But the sprint tracker will be where anybody from the whole community or anywhere else can go and see what we are prioritizing right now. There'll be a message board. All of our AMA notes will get posted there. Links to the uh, to the YouTube. There's specific categories that explain different parts about Universe. So there's a DAO category, a protocol category. Uh, there's a general guide. And... Really, the whole point of this is to get all of our links, our content, all the things that Universe is working on in one spot so that everybody can easily access it. And so if anyone has any feedback on that, please let us know. There should be a video walkthrough coming out relatively soon. Um, I'm just designing and planning that. Um, so hopefully you guys like the community center and uh, you're well informed by it. Nice. Thank you, Rain. Yeah, so the reason we kind of sought out to do that, and actually Rain took that upon himself, because he had actually has been one of the more active people in the Discord. Um, he wanted to create a center so that everyone could go to and find most of the information that people come into the Discord and ask. And also the community had asked that we work a little bit more on transparency. Um, so this was a good way to kind of work on and improve on both of those things. So, great work on that, Rain, and we appreciate you, and um, we'll uh, go ahead and post those links in the AMA channel, and we'll also, like, post that in the um, comments on the YouTube. Um, so, we'll hand it off to Ryan next so he can go over some of the development updates and whatever else Ryan needs to talk about, because Ryan knows a lot. He's always, he has a lot of information. Thank you, Mark. Hey guys, um, so the, the big update is that we're testing out the, the next big push and once that's finished testing over the next few days, hopefully it'll be live and that's going to contain all of the fun open graphs and SEO stuff we were talking about. In plain English, what that means is when you send a link to Universe, um, whether it be over like Discord, Slack, text message, um, whatever else you may use, Telegram, um, it's going to show up you know, showing either the, the user you're linking to or the NFT itself, the collection, all various sorts of um, sorts of information and, and kind of imagery will be displayed. So it's going to enhance the, the social experience um, and the kind of ability to relay links to Universe um, when doing kind of day-to-day -day NFT stuff with your friends and whatnot. Um, after that, there is going to be a, a big migration that we're working on um, of our database. Um, so we're expecting that's going to be a little bit of time um, you know, in the realm of like two weeks. Um, but upon the, the completion of that migration, we'll be pushing out a handful of uh, new features that require this, this migration to, to support. 
um, but will ultimately allow us to do things like the the searching and filtering and have like really really fast and fast results and and really good aggregation of all the the data that's that's involved in and all the complex filters that we want to provide. Um, I think that that covers kind of the the really high level stuff that that you guys are all interested in. Um, there's a lot of other work that kind of is being done on on features. Um, I can kind of give some details on on some of them. Um, one that's really of interest is the the finders fee. Um, and while we do support royalty splits already, we're we're adding further integration to both our front end. Um, and the back end as well to, to make that a, a seamless experience for anyone who wants to plug in and inject royalties into universe orders. Um, it's going to be a, a very, very powerful feature. I like how you worded that, inject royalties into universe. <laughs> yes. Um, right. So we can uh, probably hand it over to Zach and he can tell everyone about the latest in the polymorphic universe. For sure. Let's take it over, Zach. Hey, guys. Um, can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, for sure, homie. Okay. Rain brought it to my attention that the last two AMAs that I recorded, I recorded in mono on accident. Um, so I had to change some things. But uh, so I've been working with the Polymorph um, development team, completely separate team from the marketplace. So um, we are getting pretty close to getting burn to mint out um and i don't want to say too much about the things that are coming with burn to mint but i will say that there are some things that you'll you won't be able to get unless you um migrate over to the new polymorph contract in the future so and those things are pretty cool and i'm i'll be able to share more about it soon but i just want to iron everything out with the dev team first so i don't um misspeak but um, that's really it for the polymorphs. It's more we're like dialing in for the um, like front end changes and uh, migrating the like polymorph homepage um, onto its like separate domain. Um, I believe, right? Correct, Ryan. I mean, it's a separate domain, but it's still like part of Universe's domain. Um, yeah. So it, it I, I believe it'll be a subdomain. Yeah, so um, we're just migrating some things over and then like improving the front end for scrambling um, and then getting getting some of those like um, extra incentives involved with burning uh, your original polymorph for a V2 one all lined out like on a contract level. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, there'll be some pretty interesting game theory approaching for the polymorphs. I think as we... <clears throat> get close to burn to mint and a lot of these new features and things come out for the polymorphs. I think it'll put a little interesting dynamic on what people do. Um, so I think we can go ahead and open this up into the AMA section of this call because we still wanted to give general updates for everyone so that there's some weekly updates. Um, did we put out a forum? Okay, perfect. It looks like Zach did. I did. I don't think there's any entries in it. Um, but I guess if anybody's in here that has questions, you can yeah, either throw it in there or the yeah, I don't, see any, I, don't uh, see I I kind of responded to one question that that came up in the chat, but I'll I'll iterate it on voice as well for those listening to the recording. Um. The question was about ERCLM55 support, and so we're actively working on that. There's a dev developer team dedicated to that. Um, we're not yet able to give deadlines on on that, like when we're actually going to have that out, but we, we're getting really close. Um, we can specify, though, the uh, features that will come for that. Um, yeah. So the 1155 support is going to be a lot more on the marketplace side. Uh, we're, going to cons we're going to support... 1155s that already exist and then eventually we will support 1155 minting but essentially with 1155 support for the marketplace what we mean is we are bringing all of those you know regular buying listing being able to bid being able to buy multiple 1155s of the same nft at the same time um 
So we are working on a lot of those things, but that is strictly on the marketplace side of buying, trading, and selling. Um, I shouldn't say trading because we are, that is one thing we will bring, but it's not something we're quite there yet. Um, but yeah, that's essentially something I wanted to clarify is, but we will bring 1155 minting to universe soon. It's just in this next sprint update, it's going to be strictly on the marketplace side and it will be uh, to support what already exists on chain. <clears throat> Shuba, is there anything you'd want to add to that? Yeah, I mean, just, just to reiterate, there won't be minting support at, when it launches at first, um, so you won't be able to create new 1155s from our marketplace, uh, or more specifically from Universe Minting, until we um, add support for, for that in there as well. Um, but what there will be is any existing 1155s and new ones that are minted to the chain, you'll be able to, to actively you know make offers on, um, list for sale if you own them, purchase them if they're listed, and, and so forth. Nice. Will there be a, a time to burn the polymorphs, or will be able to do it any time in the future? Um, Zach, do you want to touch on that a little bit? I can kind of touch on it, um, and Zach can add. But from I think our last conversation on this is it's kind of undecided. But essentially, I think we wanted to leave. I mean, Zach, you can stop me if you if I'm wrong. But so, we wanted to so I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be open indefinitely, so you can always transfer yeah. over we don't like we don't want to block anybody that is having a hard time making the decision um in the first month or so of it being live from like participating later down the line in things that you you need the v2 polymorph for um but there may be a deadline on um a certain um, like a perk claim that you might or get app or something yeah yeah there might be a deadline on a certain claim or um a possible whitelist spot um, in the future, but that will be uh, determined later. But the the burnament will stay open, um, even if you miss out on on claiming something cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, very well said. So yeah, that little bit of alpha that Zach released at the beginning of the call. Just put two and two together, and I think yeah, we're uh, we're a leaky ship today. It's okay. Um, also, I just want to say the Pope bot will never DM you first. I just put that in the, um, claim chat, but the, the Pope bot is not going to DM you. You must DM the Pope bot. Um, I, we haven't given you the, the word yet for it, but, um, yeah, I just want to reiterate. There is a Pope bot DMing you. It's not a, a real Pope bot. That's a scam. And on that topic, you know, report we'll... them in the discord or to yeah. rain and we'll get them. We'll back. have Nick and rain, bring them out back. I love using the, yeah. Send it to me. I love then, that man hammer. Yeah. So that, to reiterate with that, um, the team won't be DMing anyone either. Um, if we do, we'll tag you in the universe channel first. Um, and as well, you know, we will we, we won't ever drop a mint five minutes before it goes live, stuff like that. So God forbid any extreme case scenarios like with the apes. Um, that's also something to to be cautious of, both here and you know, hopefully in many other communities as well. Um, but anyway. if you DM the Pope bot, um, if you DM the Pope bot, then it will return a link, and the keyword is troll god, one word, all lowercase. Let's go. <laughs> Troll God. What are we really don't have too many questions. Um we Troy's up here. Troy, is there anything that you would like to come up and say or talk about? I would say, I mean, I'm like, be on the lookout for some pretty, like, we haven't talked about some of this stuff, but be on the lookout for some really interesting open source stuff coming out. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I hate, I hate doing this just because I'm always so cryptic on these things because development takes so long and it's like, it's coming soon, guys. But like, there is a bunch of 
really interesting stuff. I mean, if even like in regards to like Graviton, um, if you look in the Xenon chat, I actually posted we're we're in the test flight of a we're testing an app for Xenon in test flight right now. So like there's a bunch of stuff coming um in regards to Graviton. But even for universe, there's just some really cool open source stuff coming. I'm just gonna stop there. I can't talk about what I want to talk about. Like I literally Yeah, it's okay. It. We definitely but I, I will talk we... about it someday, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, we all are. I think everyone in the world might talk about it. I definitely think it could be everywhere in the world. For sure. Um, there's one question in general that I missed from Arwin twenty. It says, What is that what does it mean for our current polymorphs holding? Um, are you saying like what does a burn to mint mean? I think what he's asking is like like what if I refuse to burn my poly polymorph? Like if I want to stay as a V one. Um I so I'm not sure if that guy's in here, but that's kind of what I was referring to about the um like the game theory. One thing that we really like created the polymorphs out of was game theory. Like we really didn't understand when we first released them, like how the rarity was gonna work or how people were really going to utilize the scrambling. Um I think we're about to approach another section of the polymorphs where it's like like there's people with a massive polymorph holding. Like I think Pranksy owns over six hundred polymorphs. Like that person may not want to burn all their polymorphs or may never burn them. So like we do I mean like what does that say about the original polymorph collection? Like it's the OG collection of polymorphs. If those people never want to migrate it and a bunch of people do migrate over to the new contract, do those become more scarce? But then those people may miss out on some of the gaming aspects or things that we're working on. So I think, you know, I think it's something that I don't know the answer to or no one really knows the answer to of like, what happens to that collection i mean there may be you know i i don't really know i i mean we definitely want people to migrate um but that's so that everyone gets access to a lot of the stuff that we've been building um there's a reason that we're migrating these contracts and that and we're not going to turn the scrambling back on for the original polymorphs so if you ever do want to scramble your polymorph um you're gonna have yeah, yeah. to migrate it. And it, it might become one of those V1, you know, punk conversations where it's like, what's the original punk or what's the original thing? And I mean, it, that may not be important per, for polymorphs, but I, you know, I don't have a, I don't have a direct answer. I mean, Tyler, is there anything you'd wanna add to that? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think people are gonna have to figure it out on their own. Yeah, I mean, we don't have the yeah, answer. It's hard to say from a, like, I can't really speak on like a value perspective, but I guess the, the only concrete answer here is if you don't, like the polymorphs that don't um, burn over to the V2 contracts won't be able to scramble. But that's, like Zach that's, said, that's going to be indefinitely open. So anyone's going to forever be able to migrate those polymorphs. But like, but like Zach said, again, there may be a mint or something that you get for having a v2 and that that may not be indefinitely open so right so bit of, bit of game theory to be had so they're they're burnable you can burn them uh you can't you can't unburn them you can burn them forever as long as you got one um so so i guess think about it i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna overall, do the, overall though, i'm gonna burn a lot Overall, though, we're going to be um, incentivizing people that burn the polymorph. So the only benefit to not burning would be if you think it's, like, cool or something to have a Gen 1 polymorph for, like, nostalgia or something. Other than that, um, 
pretty much all the utility ongoing will be directed at the v2 polymorphs um but all your badges will be transferred over like um so like if you have a virgin polymorph that is like pretty rare and you're and you think that like it being a virgin and being super rare is is like better or something and you're afraid to migrate it for that reason like all your badges like if you burn a virgin you're going to keep that virgin badge you know that polymorph is still a virgin it's still that blockchain randomness um you just have to migrate it over to the new contracts and we'll and we'll still honor all that i mean depending i don't know how, how people's psychology is on looking at the blockchain like that but essentially those are still virgin polymorphs to us so we're going to honor those badges because i think yeah. yeah also um all of the like scramble history um i was talking to ryan and all of it is is like um we can we can recover all all of the scramble history i i'm pretty sure it's on chain right ryan oh 100 yeah. percent um so since that's the case, um, the de the devs might hate me for saying this, but hopefully they don't listen to the recording. Um, I, what, something that I'm really excited about is displaying the like your your version history. Um, at some point, it's not going to come out like at at the very like beginning of Burn to Mint going live, but um, I am pushing to to get us to like display like maybe you know you po you scrambled your polymorph a month ago and like you want to like look back at like what your polymorph used to look like um i'm trying to get it so uh you can see your your version history basically yeah or you could just see any polymorph history i think it'd be really cool and yeah like all that is on chain and it's you know it it'll take a little bit of work it's not something that's in our priority like our high priority list but now that we have a polymorph team um that's something that we can kind of kick up into a, into the priorities and then uh kind of put those analytics on the marketplace as well that's another thing we've been really diving into and talking to people about um so and we won't give too much information on that kind of stuff because that's a lot of alpha but we are talking to a, a lot of different people in the space about analytics and um how we need to bring those types of things to universe And not just like regular analytics, like, I mean, not just like your activity. I mean, I think people, the more that this space grows, I think people need more information. And there's some really cool projects in the space right now bringing really cool um, on-chain data and turning it into really useful information. So we're talking with people like that, and we'll see what we can work out for everyone and see what cool features we can bring to the front end for your universe. Should we hit everyone with the Po app word again? Yeah, it's troll god. One word, lowercase. Two L's. Yeah, troll god. Um, only two L's. I don't think we have any other questions. Oh, actually, we do. Uh, Ryan. Um, uh Maybe you want to answer this one. Is there plans to speed up the marketplace? Um, yeah, absolutely. So as I was saying with the, the database migration, that's going to be a, a big one that will speed up the marketplace because all of the requests will be coming from the same place for those who, and, you know, um, who that makes sense to. Um, in terms of the, the rest of the speed of the marketplace, um, there's a few things in the works there, like image processing and compression. Um, to kind of have a better experience both on mobile and on browser. Um, I think once that's implemented, we'll we'll see basically near immediate load times on the the marketplace and my NFTs page. Um, but as always, there's definitely going to be room to to continue improving um, even once you know those those sets of features are pushed out there. Um, but yes, the the answer is we are working on speeding up the marketplace. Yeah, and then eventually we'll just stick nitrous boosters on the marketplace. And you are going to really, really feel that baby purr. How to send it. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, so, so it looks like he asked specifically about slow loading images and collection search. The slow loading images I addressed and the, the collection search I kind of addressed. That's uh that's part of the, the back end migration. Yeah, so a lot of that like back end migration and database stuff is gonna really help with the search. Um they are also re architecturing some of the oh. search and trait filtering stuff. So um all that's gonna ki is all kind of connected and once we fix that it's gonna actually like super boost the whole marketplace i think that's where everyone's gonna really notice a difference is once we hit those upgrades can you repeat that is he asking about the pope i think yeah, he's asking i don't know the pope. Uh, do we have anything else to go over or is there any other questions can we hit the link in the chat uh no the no don't don't put any links. They uh yeah. they you will DM the the Pope bot. The Are we gonna give the, the code one more time? Or yeah. is this when people start checking in to get the code? Oh, uh, I don't know. I s I told them that we'd give them one more time before right before we were done. Yeah, so, we, we did say that. You did say that. We gotta give it to them one more time. Yeah, I think I think we're good though, right? Like um if there's any more questions then Yeah, yeah unless somebody wants to raise their hand and like ask something and they didn't know they were able to. You can do that now if, if you wanted to. Delete. I don't get back to the stage. Like I don't even know if I could let anyone in if I tried. Yeah, did six of us just all try to Husker. delete? No, no, somebody came up. Husker .eth raised his hand and he's up here now. If you unmute your mic, you can speak. Nice. Hey nice. guys, sorry I joined in uh, somewhat late. I'm on a nighttime schedule over here on the West Coast, but I was just wondering, was there any update on uh, the? Uh, Lobby lobsters or anything like that? Um, so, I mean, right now, the lobby lobsters have kind of been, we've kind of put it on the side. Um, we've donated a lot of the money, or all the money that we made from lobby lobsters. Um, so we do have some stuff that we're working on internally for them. I think if Zach wants to talk at all about, I mean... I don't One think you thing. should. I, I will say that we have been, uh, as we've been talking about uh, utility for the, the Morse and um, like just the marketplace and the deviants, I will say that Lobby Lobsters have definitely came up once or twice. Um, They've right actually now, come up a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, multiple yeah, times. Communities. I, shouldn't say, I shouldn't say once or twice, but uh, multiple times. But I, right now, the focus is still on Polymorphs. But um, I know that we've said multiple times that we've donated all the money, and that's true. Um, that's what that kind of alludes to is we're not like building necessarily tech for the polymorphs. Um, the lobby lobsters it, is what you mean. The, yeah, the, the lobby lobsters. We we are building like tech for the polymorphs, but we, we that doesn't necessarily mean that we're not gonna like in, incentivize people to still like hold their polymorphs and and like provide utility for them in the future. Uh, I would just say right now the focus is the, the on the morphs. Well, but really as, the, the, as the morphs gain more utility, you'll you'll see lobby lobsters start to like trickle in, like trickle down utility to the, the lobsters in the future as well. I can say that we are working on a pretty large project um, that is going to be super related to universe, but. It isn't going to be necessarily universe. Um, it'll be an emerging project, and it has plans to incorporate like fluff, polymorphs, Goblin Town, lobby lobsters, the whole ecosystem that we have been building with our friends. Um, I think that's the most I'm going to say about it. Is is we are working with people and I mean, it's not going to be necessarily, it's not going to be universe. Um, but essentially you will see us build something to incorporate all of those. I'm not going to say it's a metaverse. Um, but it might be, it might be. I can also add that, um, Tyler just said it is a metaverse. <laughs> Um, I can also add 
Um, yeah, Tyler's the one building it too. While we are a little more secretive on like the the polymorph and the lobby lobsters side of things, that's just kind of how like NFT projects are run, and like they are our NFT project. But at the end of the day, they're still DAO run. So if you see like a cool project, like um, like let's say. I mean, we've all talked about like getting the polymorphs into like fluff world. So like, that's not really a good like example, but like, let's say theoretically, like we're like, oh, they're letting people get integrated into the other side. We want the polymorphs, like the DAO could come in and vote that like, so that we could integrate with that project. Um, like the community still has um, their say on what we do with the polymorphs and the funds. Uh, you just got to create a proposal and have a good idea back behind it because people are going to, if you have a good proposal, people are going to be asking you a lot of questions. Yeah. Any proposals that are set through or, you know, forum discussions that get brought to votes that people want stuff built. We're going to build anything that you guys uh, ask us to build. And even if it takes us to set up bounties and, you know, hire developers from the community to build it out. I mean, that's essentially how a lot of decentralized, you know, well, DAOs function or need to function sometimes is not have the internal team build everything. So, I mean, eventually we do need to get to that point. I mean, Tyler's made the example many times before of like Ethereum is this big ecosystem that has all these all these work all these developers working on it i think tyler said like two hundred thousand developers wrote code on eth last month or it's like that's that number is increasingly rising essentially these DAOs can turn into sort of the same ecosystem where you have you know you have ten thousand devs writing code for universe and that's the importance of creating an open source protocol but it takes time to scale a backend to be able to allow people to just build on top of stuff without them completely breaking it. I mean, Chuba can probably talk more about that than me. I'm not as experienced on that kind of stuff, but I know that's kind of the problems that is faced with that. But essentially, and eventually, Universe will get to that point where we are this massive open source protocol that anyone can come and contribute code to, whether it be they could, can directly plug into it the same way that you can Ethereum and or doing it through bounties and giving, getting access through um, getting access through the internal team. And that is the end goal is to eventually build towards that. We thank you guys. I appreciate it. For sure, Husker. We appreciate you. Coming uh, his, out, Husker's initial question was about the lobsters, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but we were kind of just we kind of got on a ramp, but yeah, we're talking yeah, we were talking about the lobsters, the morphs, and uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. short answer is for the lobsters, we we are thinking about them and we are trying to figure out how to incorporate them without having to like take a bunch of money and or, or build tech for towards them. there. Because we we gave the money away, but we are working on integrating them as much as we can into everything. And holding, and I just will add that holding a lobster will at least, at the very least, give you um, perks on some things in the future. Yeah, but to be clear, I think it's important that we're clear about this. Currently at Universe, there is zero development going on for anything lobster related, like there's not a single thing we're building right now that has to do directly with the lobsters. And um, if there is, like, if we wanted to start something, it would likely have to go through a DAO vote, and we would definitely let everyone know. Um, I just don't want to, like, give it people, like, people yeah, but, think uh, we're, like, trying to pump. Project. I just don't want people to think we're trying to pump the lobsters because, um, like, they are what they are. Like, when we made them, they were a donation. Um, it is what it is. Like, it wasn't like they were meant to be, like, this huge resale demand. Um, we will try to, like Mark and them are all saying, we will try to incorporate them. But currently, like right now, the uh, simple answer to the question is we have nothing like currently being built the way we do in any aspect, actually. But like like the polymorphs, we have a ton being worked on. And when I say a ton, I mean like we have entertainment stuff. We have stuff for the NFTs. 
we have merch that we have been considering. Like, we have a ton of stuff in development for polymorphs. The Lobby Lobster is like, I just don't want to, like, get anyone's hopes up that, like, we're doing something for those soon. They might get included in some type of, like, whitelist slot or some type of, like, list. But yeah, that's not really that, cool. Yeah, but other than that, there there's no development going on at all for the for the lobsters. Um, only the polymorphs as far as NFTs at universe. Yeah, yeah. Mark's saying that, but Tyler has his own project that he's essentially building that we don't talk about because it's his project. Out of respect, we don't talk about it. And none but, of us um, really know about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing is we don't really know much about we don't really it. Know um, what's going on over there? <laughs> But yeah, the, the, the lobsters might be a part of that, but that's something that's community led. So anyone in the community is able to do the same type of thing. I think that's a great thing that Tyler's like setting an example of like, Tyler has always said like, he's a community member, like all of us, he's essentially leading a community led effort to create something dope for our ecosystem. So in my opinion, yeah, like that's sick that if he does something with the lobsters over there, then that's, that's amazing. Sweet. I appreciate the honesty uh, there, gents. Uh, yeah, I, I just bought them uh, way back when as just to donate some money and just kind of check in and see if there's any updates, but I appreciate uh, the honesty. I mean, I would yeah, say one thing, I'm holding my lobsters, you know. One yeah, thing that I, I do say. see what uh, happens with them. <laughs> one thing I do want to say, though, is like we do have resale um, money that has come in from the lobby lobsters. I don't know the exact number. I mean, it's like nothing crazy. I mean, it might be like two or three ETH, maybe more. But, I mean, we've always said that we would continue to donate the, the proceeds of what gets brought in from that. But essentially, right now, it's nothing really to donate yet. One thing that we really had thought was going to happen was that, you know, maybe perhaps those lobsters stayed at some price and you traded and we had some decent resale the point was to always donate that money to lobbying efforts you know and we've even had people say like you know we had people from britain reach out other countries and say like you know lobbying efforts in our countries would be cool and we're completely open to donating funds and continuing that and staying true to our word um but essentially, it just didn't work out completely how we uh, thought it was going to. That initial invest or that initial donation was what we wanted to do. Um, we were just kind of hoping the secondary donations were going to fall behind, and they just didn't. But I mean, if they ever do, just out of nowhere, and that's one thing that I think would be really cool is like maybe every political year like maybe we could get like a lobby lobster marketing team to try and like push donations and we'll donate to something but like we'll like we just always want to be try to be bipartisan because we don't want to be like towards any type of group and we just want to help crypto communities we're not really so worried about democrat democrat or republican it's just we you know, that was initially what we wanted to do was donate funds. So if that ever does pick up, we are like 1000% willing to do that. That's what we wanted to do. Um, so I think, you know, that would be what I could say we, we could probably do to get more attention on them is like sometimes towards like elections or something, we give them some love. But I mean, it just didn't really turn out how we in. I mean, Overall, the, the lobsters were like a huge success. Like we yeah, raised were, about four million, and we've gotten some of the best PR from that drop than anything else we've done. But yeah, like uh, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like we can't always. Um, you know, if I remember, if I remember correctly, I think that was the largest donation that CoinSender had ever received. Um, and they were. And they said it was like, three years worth of runway. So. Yeah. So. And, and I don't, if, if you guys are familiar with, with their work, definitely check them out on Twitter and, and some of their writings because they're, they're very active and they're, they have like it, what feels like either a bunch of interns or a bunch of very smart people looking at every new freaking legal document that hits their desks. And in the middle of these things that are like 500 pages long, they're able to find the one thing that, that could be bad for all of us. 
Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for, for them for, for being able to do that and, you know, being passionate about crypto, just like the rest of us. Yeah, they crush it. And a lot of people probably in this AMA right now, listen and follow Niraj on Twitter. And like, he's out there fighting for all of you guys. And honestly, I think that money is, is great with them. And like we would donate more money to them in a heartbeat. I think that that's a amazing group, and um, they're they get in front of Congress, they get in front of the Senate. I mean, they're the ones getting in front of people and really waving their fists. But honestly, they uh, they do great work, and yeah, Ryan's right. I mean, I don't know if it's an army of interns or just some super super crazy attention to detail lawyer type people but those guys will be ryan's right they're like 500 page documents they'll find one sentence and be like nah we're ready yeah yeah and like, it, it's really incredible i won't i won't go into any more detail about it but but the stuff that they're able to catch is 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 just wow all right well I, awesome. does anyone have does anyone thank you Husker. does anyone have any more questions or should we uh drop the po up code one more time and end it oh god all all lowercase letters no spaces we don't do either of those things for all god one oh god <laughs> i like that he says we should boil the lobsters and feed them to our polymorphs to make them stronger talk about it just I heard food. personally. I heard that um, the polymorphs actually praise the lobsters as gods. Yeah, they were. But yeah, they the the polymorphs actually like if you read the books on polymorphs, um, they actually worship the lobsters. So those books that were in Alexandria, the Temple of Alexandria, when they burned down. Yeah, you have to find the scriptures the on the internet. Yeah. Oh God! All lowercase, guys. I don't think anyone has any more questions. So, like, nice. subscribe, follow us on YouTube if you're listening on there. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>